שלום, שלום, everyone, שבוע טוב. A blessed, blessed uh, first day of the week. That's always the great things in Jerusalem, in Israel, all the Israelites all over the world. On Sunday, uh, we, the first day of the week, the greetings is Shavua Tov, meaning a blessed first day working, and may you have a blessed uh, week to come. So uh, coming from here in uh, Jerusalem Sanctuary of Asia, we want to greet everyone Shavua Tov. Um, yesterday was a great Sabbath. It was a day of rest. We rest in the peace of Abba Yehovah. We have his words. We meditate in his words. We stayed with the family. We had good sleep. We had a, indeed Shabbat or rest in the presence of Abba Yehovah every seventh day, meaning in the fourth commandments given by Abba Yehovah to Moses, he said, remember to keep the Sabbath day holy. So that, remember to keep the Sabbath day holy means remember, remember, put it in mind, and remember. Once again, you be a member because you are not taking the Sabbath day holy. We, before, for 45 years, I, I make the, I celebrate my worship on a Sunday, but it's a mistake. For me, it's a mistake because that was not ordained day of Abba Yehovah. Uh, the ordained day is the seventh day. As he said in Genesis, the first chapter, <clears throat> when he said, uh, when he created everything, the first day, the second day, the third day, the fourth day, the fifth day, the sixth day, and he created man on the sixth day. And then he said, everything is excellent. And on the seventh day, he rested. He rested so that he commanded all the Israelites, inhabitants of the world, to rest on the seventh day. So for me, Sabbath day is Saturday. That's why it's Sabbath. Saturday. So it was a Sabbath day. So we had a great celebration yesterday. And today is another working day, another working day for the rest of the week. Every time we have this, we, we have this habdala every sundown. And when it's sundown, you light the candle, you bring some spices, and then it will be a separation of the holy day to the working day. So today, I would like to just again share to you a very important message that I am uh, um, experiencing because you might be asking, why are we lighting the menorah there, the seven golden lamps stand? Here, here is an, an example. This is a new one I brought from Jerusalem uh, last uh, Hanukkah, but we are uh, considering the seven, not the nine. The seven is the ordained candle that Abba Yehovah God has specifically uh, mentioned for us to light that represents Yeshua Mashiach. Let me tell you the power of the, the why we light the seven golden lampstand. Number one, to obey the commands of Abba Yehovah. Because if this is not a commandment, we might not as well light it. But it is a commandment in uh, Revelations 1, 20, uh, Isaiah chapter 11, 2 to 3. It says here, when we light the seven golden lampstand, we are obeying Abba Yehovah, God, to declare the seven spirit of Abba, Ruach HaKodes of Abba Yehovah. And then he said, to declare that Yeshua HaMashiach is the light of the world. He is Yeshua, our Savior, is the light of the world. He gave Yeshua to light the darkness. 
okay? Then three, to declare the manifestation of the seven eyes of Abba Yehovah and to destroy the works darkness caused by Satan on earth. This is for me the very, very uh, essence the power why i'm lighting the candle this is already 10 years ago when i started to light the seven menorah because it says to declare the manifestation of the seven eyes of abba Yehovah to destroy the works of darkness caused by satan on earth so when we light the menorah the seven golden lampstand, it will be a declaration to destroy the works, the manifestation of the flames, the flames of the menorah. We use uh, uh, oil here. It's not a candle. We use the oil as it was also the way in the temple before. The seven golden lampstand is when it's lighted, the flames, the flames, will destroy the works of Satan here on earth. So when I knew that it was already a, a command and it was a secret, then I said, I have to do it. So that was the reason why I was going to all the nations. For the last 10 years, I've been traveling in Europe, in Asia, in North and South America, in Africa, just to light a candle and to put the Ark of the Covenant. And then I say, uh, it was just like a torch that when you light uh, the menorah, it is the seven eyes of Abba Yehovah. So these are the seven eyes of Abba Yehovah. Sister, what is your biblical reference? Or maybe, saan uh, galing yan? No? Samuna na pinagkukuha yan. Indeed, it was revealed in Zion. It, when I was in, in Israel, I have a friend. Uh, the name is uh, Gloria Ramos, who was called by God to come and stay with me in my house. And then he said, Sister, I have a revelation about lighting the seven golden lamps. Then. And she did it for 70 days just lighting the menorah then i understand that if we go dig deep into the word of abba Yehovah, there is already a a a symbol there is a he is a god of order and he already gave us all his formula all we need to do is to obey so that he said it says here Number one, for me, I'm obeying Abba Yehovah's order in Isaiah 11, 2 to 3. And then to declare that Yeshua HaMashiach is the light of the world. And then to destroy the works of Satan here on earth. That as we light the seven golden lampstand, all the spiritual spirit of darkness that is in the air in the astral terrestrial marine and in humanities that he inflicted there is the the declaration of uh, uh healing okay so it will destroy so i don't know but it is abba Yehovah who will destroy i just like the candle so i obey and the number four to receive the seven gifts of shabbat why? Because many times the gifts of Shabbat that we are uh, talking about here is shalom, that money cannot buy, peace that money cannot buy, life and death is also coming from him. Okay, that is to declare this the, the gift of Shabbat. We have his goodness, we have his mercy, we have his uh, blessings, we have his favor, we have his grace that when we light this menorah it's a declaration of yeshua hamashiach the shamash you see it's like this because first in darkness yeshua said uh, abba yahovah god the father said let there be light so when satan already ruled the world he sent yeshua now he is the light he is the light of the world okay that when we light the menorah, we declare that 
rest, Shabbat, peace that comes from Him, life that comes from Him, mercy, goodness, blessings, unmerited favor that is grace. Wow! If these are all declaration to life, I did it and it was very powerful. Sister Grace, is this the reason of your success? I said yes. Because I am obeying what Abba Yahweh have instructed to me, Abba Yahweh. It's not because it's ritual. They said, oh, naging ritualistic ka na, naging nag-Israel ka lang, nag-Jerusalem ka lang, naging, ano, ang dami mo ng ritual-ritual, dami mo ng mga symbol-symbol, ang dami mo ng mga festivals-festivals. It's not about what the world is saying. It's about what the Torah, the Bible is saying. That's why I, I use white. It's in the book of Proverbs that we need to use white, declaring the purity. And at the same time, when we use a priestly, uh, uh, when we are ministering, we need to use white. Why? Because in Zechariah uh, 4 says, Son of man, Ito, bakit itong nakaharap sa akin in filthy garments? Bihisan mo siya. Put on him a white robe. Because even in, uh, if I remember right, after the prodigal son came back to the fold of his father, the first thing that he gave was a robe. Prepared the best robe and then prepared the ring. The ring the ring so that when we obey it's not for others to to agree with you it's not for others to agree with me i don't care it's between me and my relationship to my abaya it's not about white garments religion it's not that it's not a religion everybody wears white when you die, you need to be, some are, uh, mostly are using white. When you were baptized, when you get married, you are all in white. So that even in the book of Proverbs, it said you dress white. So what's the, what's the problem? So I'm, I'm using white. And if they ask me that I have my biblical basis, and that's my personal conviction, I'm not imposing I'm not imposing. It's up to you to wear what color you like. There's no wrong in it. But me, I use it because I have my belief. That is my faith. And Sister Grace, bakit meron ka nang naka-headband? Meron ka nang mga ba meron ka nang mga uh, naka-bonnet ka na ng puti? Naka because I also read in the book of Zechariah that when you put a turban, you are humbling before Abba Yehovah. He's my covering. He's my covering. Kasi uh, this is, that is my understanding. So, uh, don't get me wrong. When you hear me and see me like this, fine. Uh, uh, if you are comfortable watching, go ahead. If not, just leave it. But please, uh, Everybody has personal conviction. We need to respect. Then he said, if we light the menorah, we commemorate the miracle of lights. Commemorate the miracle of lights. We, we remember. We, when we commemorate, we declare it again. When we commemorate, we expose it. That there is a miracle of light. And Yeshua is the miracle of light. Okay, to commemorate the miracle of oil for healing, anointing. You know, in the Bible, there were a lot of people who were healed because of oil. So that oil is also a part of healing. It's not only for eating, for, for drinking, but it says here, when you light the menorah, because this is oil, not the candle, it's oil it heals so we commemorate the miracle of oil for healing 
Menorah represent the seven bride, meaning the churches of Yeshua, the seven bride of Yeshua, and that they have seven stars and the seven angels to the bride of Christ in Revelation 1.20. So for me, this is the power. And number, uh, it's also important for me to, to put it into mind. I always, before I do it, it's because everything on earth, here, if we encounter problems, if we, it's a spiritual warfare. It's a spiritual warfare. And it, in Ephesians 6.12, it said, for our fight and struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against rulers, against authorities, against powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Ephesians 6, 12. Menorah, the seven golden lamps stand. Then he said to me, this is the word of Abba Yehovah to Zerubbabel, saying, Not by might, nor by power, your power, but by my Ruach, my Holy Spirit, says Abba Yehovah of hosts, says Zechariah 4, 6. So when we light the menorah, we are declaring, Abba, not mine, not my power, not my spirit, but I want your power. I want your eyes. I want your spirit. I want Yeshua Mashiach. I want the miracle of healing. I want your mercy. So, so I do this every day. And before I go to work, I just put my hand like this and get all, because this is a representation of the character of Abba Yehovah. And then I put it first to my head and say, Abba, bless me. I said, you are the source of wisdom, discernment, understanding. So this is what I do. And bless my heart and bless my ears that I could hear his voice, that I could see clearly. So this is what I'm doing every day before I go to work. I meet people, I minister, I get my blessings, my sources, my anointing before his presence. Question, sister, is that about rituals? Mm, call it a ritual. When you brush your teeth in the morning, when you go to bath yourself, is that a physical ritual? If you call it a ritual, this is my lifestyle. My, this is my lifestyle, my way of living now for the last 10 years. And I'm so blessed. I can, I can hear his word. I can feel his embrace. There's a lot of revelations. Let me just show you a testimony. I have a friend in Israel. And then this friend of mine, okay, this friend of mine is uh, my neighbor, you know, uh, has seen all my, my, my daily chores when I'm there. But she gets sick. And then the Holy Spirit impressed in my heart, you go and pray to her. Because he was, uh, she was, uh, uh, she's 60 plus age, 64 I think. And then she went to the shop, to the market in Jerusalem. Nadapa siya na slide. Kasi may oil on the floor, natapakan niya. So, ang nangyari sa pagkatapak niya na bro, uh, broken ang, ito, 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 itong, ano niya, itong shoulder, lumabas yung, yung bone. So, na-operate siya, nagkita kami nung uh, October, November nangyari, pagbalik ko doon nung December sa Jerusalem, eto na siya, hindi na makagalaw, hindi na, and then I saw her, and then I said, Hi, Sister Ribki, how are you? You know, Sister Grace, I have a broken uh, arms. And then, I was silent, but I was praying for her, because uh, hindi kasi, uh, I respect religion, I, I, I respect other people, I don't impose my religion, I don't impose my, uh, they will see me leave, 
in Israel the way Abaya Yehovah's Holy Spirit is leading me. I don't go there to just just uh, evangelize this and this and no no no. I hear the voice of Abba Yahweh and progressively so that when I uh, when when the Lord the Ruach says go to her and pray for her I did. So I want to I want to I want you to hear what happened when I went to her. This is a personal testimony. We'll just hear her. Okay. Your wife, neighbor, how are you? I have to tell you something, Paul. Grace, she's the, my great, the greatest person that I met. I broke my arm and I broke my shoulder. I had an operation three weeks ago. Since last week, Grace make massage. She take care of my arm. She take care of my back. She take care of my hand. After four therapies, three, four times, she make massage with the candle, the menorah, the oil, special oil. I feel much, much, much better. I feel good. And I just want to say to you, Paul, she's gorgeous. She's, she has a big spirit. She has a big soul. I have to say thanks for Grace. Thank for you that she is your wife and she is my best neighbor and my best friend. I miss you, Paul. I'll come to visit Bezrat Hashem. Amen. Thank you, my sister Riv. So that was a testimony. That was a testimony of my healing. It's not me who heals. It's Abba Yehovah's hands in me. So after doing all this uh, obedience of the, uh, we have the ten. I have the ten. Achieved the ten Guinness World Records for the love of Israel. El, Bannering the Jerusalem, largest four hectares in the world, Israel flag, Yehovah, uh, seven seven Yehovahs. Then Abba Yehovah gave me in a vision. He he gave me in a vision a fire on my hands, charcoal fire. At first, I don't, I just keep it to myself. It's a vision. So, nakikita ko yung kamay ko, may mga, talagang may apoy. And, and I just keep it to myself. But one day, I tried using it. I prayed for a man who came here and eventually he said, Can you pray for me, sister? Then I saw my hand. Pero, hindi nila nakikita. Nakikita ko, it's, my hands were, were burning we're, we're burning with flames and a charcoal. Sabi ko, nung nagpakita yon sabi ko, then I prayed. As I prayed on that man, he fell to the ground in the name of Yeshua. So that I believe, I believe there's power in prayer. I believe there's power in the name of Yeshua. I believe there is power of the menorah, the seven golden lampstand. I believe there is the power of the press symbol of the presence of uh, the Ark of the Covenant. I believe there is power in using his real name, Melech Yeshua Mashiach. I believe there is a power in using and magnifying, exalting Abba Yehovah God, the Father Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth. So when I use all this, when I put it in faith and put it to every place I go, then there was a miracle. And there were a lot of people coming to me. And when I prayed for them, miracles upon miracles of healing, Miracles of, as if they were awakened of the truth. As if they know, oh, bakit ngayon ko lang nalaman. That is when Abba Yehovah already moves in us. We, we use this. 
like just like when you have a glass and then you want to drink water take the glass take the water drink it then it come into your being lalakas ka si sir pwede naman yung kamay mo go ahead pero meron meron si ininstruct eh na itong gamitin mo seven golden lampstand itong gamitin mo dahil yan ang mata ko ito yung gamitin mo simbolo ko menorah the golden so and dress up in white so what's the problem indeed we the message of the hour is grace be my bride act like a bride take dominion as a bride declare as a bride so on the first day today today is not for me it's not the time to worship him in a, a I worship him today, but I'm working. It's not because this Sunday is a sun god. It was ordained, manipulated by man to come together and fellowship God. It's not that. It's not the. It's not ordained by God. Sunday is not ordained of day of God to meet His people. When He said. On the seventh day he rested, then he went to Garden of Eden and met Adam and Eve, and they're gone. Anong nyari sa kanila? Pinalayas sila dun sa Garden of Eden. Because that's when the divine time, yung appointed time, the season when Abayo, sabi niya, it is on the seventh day, and that is on Sabbath, Saturday. So today for us is a working day. We, uh, the people in the laboratory will work. The people in uh, the abs herbs will work because this is not the time for us to 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 be uh, in one accord, no? Worshiping Him because Sun God, yun nga eh, Sun God. It's a Sun God worship on a Sunday. I don't want to be a part of that pagan pagan uh, uh, belief or tradition. I would rather see it from Genesis down to uh, until Yeshua in the New Testament. Because even Yeshua uh, keep or celebrated the right festivals. So that, yes, today is a worship day. I am personally worshiping him in my work, in my work as I cook, as I go. But I'm not going to celebrate as a, have our congregation and then praising him because this is destined for the sun god worship. Those who uh, worship the sun. We don't worship the sun. We worship the maker of the sun. We don't worship the moon. We worship the maker of the moon. I worship the maker of the moon. So today is Shavuot. Have a blessed Sunday, first working day of the week. Let's arise and shine for your, our light has come and the glory of Abba Yehovah has risen upon us. Be blessed today. Be filled with the uh, Ruach Hakodes. I share this to all the world. May the light the seven golden lampstand menorah of Melech Yeshua will light all the nations in the seven continents of the world. Receive your light now coming from Yeshua. Receive the blessing. Receive the wisdom, discernment, understanding coming from the flames of the menorah from our Abba Yehovah yod he vav he and his son Yeshua, our Savior, by the Holy Spirit. Shavuot tov, everyone. Let's enjoy the day. Bye for now and see you again tomorrow.